Going down to South Park, gonna have myself a time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Going down to South Park, gonna leave my woes behind. And we're parking day or night, people spouting how to never. Heading on up to South Park, gonna see if I can't unwind. <laughs> Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. Good morning, Monomoy. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, and it's the day one in our schedule. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is currently 62 degrees outside and we'll have a high of 66 and a low of 56. Th there will be 17% chance of rain and we'll have winds coming from the south-southwest at 10 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the five day. <laughs> we have sun every single day. On Friday and Monday we'll see some clouds, but we have a high of 69 and a low of 50. That's all for weather now. To Kate with the announcements. Thanks, Charlie. Now for the announcements. The Artworks program is accepting applications from students in grades 9 through 12 until October 30th. Students will have the opportunity to work with artists in person, virtually, or hybrid. Artworks provides students with the unique opportunity to explore the creative economy through hands-on learning. Students work alongside a local artist mentor as they receive one-on-one -on -one instruction and feedback in their chosen medium through a 40-hour internship that coincides with the school year. Students have explored artistic media within areas including drawing, painting, photography, fashion design, jewelry design, writing, music, ceramics, and more. For more information or application assistance, please see Ms. Armstrong in room C-115. Here are the college visits for the week. Student volunteers are needed for the HES Holiday Bazaar. The Harwich Elementary PTO is in need of student volunteers to help at its annual Holiday Bazaar on Saturday, December 14th. If you would like to volunteer, please email Ms. Jordan at jjordan at for the sign-up link. The Animal Welfare Club needs you. Well, we need at your extra change or small bills. Members of the AWC will be walking around during Jossums during the rest of the month to collect for animal organizations that are helping people and their pets down in North Carolina and Florida. Hurricanes Helene and Milton have flooded animal shelters and destroyed homes. Animals are the last to get help. So many have become abandoned or have died. Also, the AWC is still collecting towels, sheets, and small throws, fleece blankets, etc. all through October. Look for the boxes all around the floor, first floor of the school. Seniors, on Friday, November 8th, MRHS will be hosting Credit for Life. This is a financial literacy fair to help you prepare for life after high school. Knowing how to manage your money will be an important life skill and will impact the quality of the rest of your life. The fair is super informative and fun with great prizes and treats. At the conclusion of the fair, seniors are treated to a bizarre shark lunch. Attendance is mandatory and a computer is needed for participation. Please know that a cell phone will not allow you to participate. On November 6th, there is a mandatory Jossum A meeting in the auditorium for all seniors. This presentation will provide an overview of Credit for Life so that you are prepared for Friday. The American Red Cross and Monoway Regional High School are teaming up to host a community blood drive on Wednesday, November 6, 2024 from 2.30 to 7 p.m. All donations are by appointment. Visit the Red Cross website or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. We will need students to recruit donors and volunteer on the day of the drive. Students will greet donors, organize sign-in paperwork, and offer refreshments. Be a part of this event and sign up to help in MyFlex Learning, Jossum A and B, on Day 3, Friday, October 25th, and Day 6, Wednesday, October 30th. Please see Ms. Fridas in Culinary if you have any questions. Lunch for today is a meatball sub. That's all for the announcements. Now I have to Anna with the sports. Thanks, Kate. Now for the sports. Yesterday, girls soccer beat Carver 2-1. to one. Shout out to Mackenzie Bowers and Riley Gillis for the two goals. It was also a great way to celebrate Senior Night with Fiona Moore, Lucy Bates, Paige Nash, Lily Furman, Sophia Kors, and Maya Flaherty. Boys Soccer beats Sturgis West 5-2. Here is Seamus St. Pierre for the header into the goal, and the next goal is Tate Laramie later ripping it into the back of the net. The boys are playing teen soccer at the right time, heading into the state tournament. Volleyball beat Atlantis Charter 3-1 with Ella Cutter getting the game-winning ace. 
Congrats to our boys golf team for getting second overall in the D3 state championship. And we wish Hank Brown good luck after finishing third overall and qualifying for the New Englands this weekend. Today, boys soccer plays Martha's Vineyard at home at 415. Girls soccer plays Martha's Vineyard away at 3. And volleyball plays SJP at home at 6 for their senior night. Good luck to all teams today. That's all for the sports and the show. Have a great day, Monomoy.